stressful because like everyone was getting released early like staying after like two nights and people were like who were getting the results and we weren't and then it was a lot it was a lot uh, let me see if it's charging and then yeah they it, i started panicking because they told us that we could we saw people online who were like i've been stuck in a hotel for like six days and i'm like well i can't i'm gonna lose my florida tan <laughs> um that was fun. Let me just link this to the places. Tina.com slash the unworky. We're back at it. Oh my god, I'm so sorry I went to, I went live when you were about to go to bed. Oh, let me close that tab. I'm kidding. <laughs> How's everyone been? Guess me, I think. Ooh, I was gonna say should I sing? Um, but I don't know though. Feeling a little bit stuffy. I might have had a poutine the other day. I did. Oh, it's on my stories. Uh, it's not. Just what you mean? Okay. Um, you're glowing. Oh, thank you, Naomi. Um, that would be the Florida sun. She did me good. <laughs> and I've just been doing really well lately. So, you know. Um, I'm sick from my COVID vaccine. I feel that. Don't worry. It'll get better. Drink lots of Gatorade, water. Don't have Advil. If you really need um, any meds, don't take ibuprofen. Only take Tylenol. That's what the nurse told me. Um, and then, uh, yeah, lots of fluids. Rest up. You'll be fine in no time. For me, my first dose gave me no um, symptoms. And then my second, apart from like the sore arm, and then the second one, I felt like a little drunk, like my head was like, ooh, woozy a bit um, during the night. Uh, it's because I had a bit of a fever, but only like 37.5 or something, 37.2, so not like a crazy fever. And then I had a bit of a headache at night, and then I just felt super weak. But literally by like the 20 hour mark, I went swimming to do a workout, and then I felt fine. So it went away. I uh, heard it's worse for girls, like um, for people who have two X chromosomes or whatever. But that's, like, still, it's, it's not for everyone, you know? Like, some people get no symptoms, some people get some. At the end of the day, it's better than getting COVID, so stay safe, y'all. Get vaccinated when you can. Um, I know. I had the vaccine called Pfizer. We love how vaccine companies are hoarding the materials and the recipes or whatever and putting their name on it. Super toxic, isn't it? <laughs> Kaya, I love you so much. Yes, y'all, like up. Let's party. I would love to write a song with Georgia. Um, I will see her soon now that I'm vaccinated. Uh, she's not yet, but hopefully soon. And then, yes. <laughs> Crazy. Oh, thank you. Seb got this in Florida. Um, she's a moment. We got a bunch of cute clothes, which is nice because we needed some. <laughs> Um, but yeah, um, I just, I was like, why am I, I had to say, I was like, when we got to Canada, the whole hotel thing was like annoying. And then I was like, oh, I was in such a good place mentally and like physically and emotionally in Florida. So I want to bring that back with me. And I've managed to get there. But earlier I was like, meh, what's the tea? And I figured it out. It's because when we're there, we would wake up, we would get ready for our day and like put on clothes and stuff <laughs> and just like do our, do our jobs and whatever you know um entertaining you all that's good uh, but when i'm back here um because we're in lockdown and there's nowhere i can go i'll just like wear nothing but like shorts and i don't get ready so like if i'm not getting up in the morning and getting myself ready and putting on a cute outfit then you kind of don't feel like motivated you know so i just gotta give myself a schedule and then we'll be good to go pfizer squad hey i mean any vaccine is good um, just, you know, it's not a competition. Get your vaccine when you can. Oh my god, you're on The Voice Kids. That's amazing, TM Chatty. Sing it for us, queen. 
I've been watching you guys on YouTube for the past four years. Uh, I was thinking how, like, I made the D on Yorkie channel in the very start of 2013. Which is so crazy, because in two years, that'll be ten years of that channel. And it's like, eight years, wow. Um, it's just, it's a lot. I can't believe it. <laughs> new music soon. Yes! I already have new music recorded uh, that I'm just finishing up. And while I was in Florida, I wrote so many lyrics. Um, so I'm just going to keep going with that. And there'll be new music coming for sure. Just keep an eye out. <laughs> it's going to be really cool. Um, I'm super excited just to push myself as an artist. I feel like I've been working on my vocals. And I'm, I'm getting better at guitar. So now I'm going to like really hunker down on that and like fine-tune my skills now that I can play through a song successfully. <laughs> Um, it took me a little too long to get there, but that's okay. Practice makes perfect. Uh, and then, yeah, I want to learn how to produce music as well, which is like a huge feat, but I think these next two weeks while I'm in quarantine, I'm going to figure out how to do that. Um, like how to, like what's the best course of action to like learn, you know? Um, and then, yeah, I'm going to try learning Logic X Pro first, because that just seems like kind of the natural first step, because it's like, a digital audio workspace so that basically means you can do it all on your laptop without extra equipment and i think i should start there because that'll teach me like different instruments and how to use them and stuff and i don't know i also have an iconic producer so i'm just gonna keep working with him and maybe maybe he could show me the ropes we'll see <laughs> but yeah i gotta go to the, i gotta take some kind of classes for that you know what Oh my god, okay. Basically, look at this, y'all. These are my two little books I write music in. I was right, this is the one this one Seb got me. Does any, anyone know the reference? And then uh, I was writing music in this one, but I haven't finished the book yet. Uh, because I had Seb's dad and mom got me this cute little book from Target. Look at all the dogs! Gorgeous! And then I started writing music in this book, which actually made it quite far. Let's see. See, I skip a couple pages sometimes. I'm like, where's the lyrics? I thought I wrote a lot. <laughs> to here. So, like, I wrote a good amount. And then in this one, uh, let's see how many lyrics I've wrote to, written. Written. To here. So, like, halfway through. Um, this one's actually really cute. Uh, I think I'm going to make that a song would be cute. You and said my second favorite gay couple ever. My second inspiration. Where there, there needs to be no competition here. You can have many faiths. <laughs> I don't know why you're numbering them. I feel very taxed. No, I'm kidding. I love you so much. Uh, oh my god, what song did you write? What's it called? Jane, how you doing? Oh, the sun is like messing me up right now. <laughs> can you help me write a song? Yeah. Of course. It's basically just like think of the story you want to write and then just start writing, throw in a lot of rhymes. <laughs> uh, for me, it comes super easy, but I'm trying to get like better at different kind of like writing styles. Cause, like, you know, those ones they taught you in school and then it, everyone just didn't listen. That was me. <laughs> oh my God. I would love to make an album. It's definitely something that I've had in the back of my mind for a while now. Um, but for now, I'm just working on like song by song. I really like I want to put my best into each song and then I think maybe like I'll think about an album oh my god are y'all still there my computer was just doing something weird sorry if I froze um boys like you that's cute already got an amazing title um but yeah it's in it's it's in the works an album soon not soon maybe soon I'll keep you posted <laughs> Uh, I got some good news. I already told Seth. Said you want to know. I might have to ask if I don't remember. What? <laughs> I got some good news. I already told Seth. So if you do want to know, might have to ask. I don't remember. Seb. Okay. <laughs> oh my god, that confuses me. So. <laughs> sure. <laughs> ah, where's Mocha and Latte? Mocha and Latte. Mocha's right here. Since we got back, they've been like super attached to our hip. So Mocha, like, he always followed me around everywhere, but now it's like. Literally, he won't leave my side. It's the cutest. I was in the room with the door closed, and then I opened the door, and he's sitting there like, hello. <laughs> Moki, you want to say hi? He's waiting for me to play with his toy. But we were just, like, working outside together and doing yoga for, like, the whole day. 
So he had a lot of attention today because um, I, I missed him, you know, and it was like a month without them. So I just want to make sure that they know I, I love them and I'm here for them. <laughs> Come here, Mocha. Come here, buddy. <laughs> Did you miss the people? Oh, say hi to all the taters and dazzling gorgeousnesses. Say hi. Say hey, dazzling. Hey, dazzling. Divine divas. <laughs> Mocha's a tater, y'all. He's a tater. Well, see, he just loves my cuddles. He's like, I miss you. <laughs> Y'all, did you miss him? He's the coolest. Ew, I, I have, like, these, like, old floorboards that I, like, ripped up when we were renovating the house, and I just chucked them on the back deck because it was, like, craziness. Uh, so I'm trying to get those gone, like, thrown out to the dump, but I can't do that till I'm, I'm, like, legally I have to stay in this house for two weeks because of Canada's quarantine rules. Um, so once that's done, I'll get that sorted. But anyways, I was lifting these things up. And, like, they were wet underneath, and this giant, like, centipede thing. And I just watched this movie on Netflix with Dylan O'Brien, if y'all seen it, the new one. And there's all the giant bugs. So I was triggered. <laughs> yeah, we'll get you a cutie. Hey, cutie. Stop asking him to send pictures. And stuff. Oh, my God, yes, send me. I'm not going to guess right now. We'd love to see it, though. I'll do, like, a guess thing soon. Um, not today. But I'll, I'll think of some fun way to do that. Because, y'all, we're coming back this summer. I've got the sun. I'm feeling healthy and cute. And I'm ready to hang out with y'all every day, 24-7. So, um, yeah, send it. DM me um, your song. I'd love to check it out. And, uh, Tanya, how you doing? Kea, shout out to Kea, Savannah, and Laura for being the top three. Uh, what are we at, y'all? We're at 2,000 likes, okay? We need to amp it up. If we get to 50,000 likes, I'll write a song live. If we get to 100,000 likes, I'll make out with Seb live. <laughs> if we get to 25,000 likes, I'll dance for y'all. And I haven't danced in a while, so it's going to be a moment. <laughs> Who will be the stricter parent? Yesterday Seb said that needs to be you. Um, probably me. Uh, like, I, I, I wouldn't be strict. Like, I'd, I'd let them live their life because I feel like if you're super strict on your child, that doesn't work. Um, my parents, like, they just, like, you know, obviously there was rules and stuff, but it was very, like, they just taught me how to be loving and how to be a good person, and from there they, like, let me do me, and I feel like that worked, and it, it just allowed me to find who I was myself, um, because I had a lot of friends who, especially one of my friends, and their parents were so, so strict, and I feel like when you're too strict, it can be it can create, like, a toxic relationship between you and your child. So I wouldn't want to be like that. But I would be strict in the sense that I'd be like, hi, I, I'm vegan, and, like, you should be vegan, because, like, that's cool. If they didn't want to, then fine. But I would educate them, you know, on, like, things of how they can live a healthier life that I wish I was told when I was younger. Like, I wish I was told when I was younger that working out is good for you, and it's fun. I, I wish I was told when I was younger that doing stretches every day, like yoga, actually helps your mental health and your physical health. I wish I was told when I was younger that you don't have to eat meat. <laughs> I wish I was told when I was younger. Uh, <laughs> I could go on. Um, but yeah, just things that make their life easier and healthier and happier. <laughs> That's where I'll be strict. Like, if there's another pandemic, I'll be like, you're staying in the house. Here's a sanitizer. Welcome to the world of exactly what Seb had to go through when he was living with me. <laughs> um... I love Seb so much, and I'm just so grateful that he was patient throughout the pandemic, because I know I was super like, we can't go anywhere, we can't see anyone without masks, and I'm proud of myself for doing that, like, it kept us safe, and um, at the end of the day, we didn't get COVID, so I don't know to what extent that is, just because we're, like, you know, privileged to be in a place as safe as Canada, where they handled it pretty well, um, but I like to think that me being smart and careful has something to do with that. <laughs> uh... Oh my god, Farid, I feel you sometimes working out can be like a struggle, but my best advice is just do it, and best advice in the morning, because then you just get it out of the way, and then afterwards it, it helps you so much throughout your day, like your mental health and physical health will just, you'll be so much more motivated and happy because you were working out, and then also I feel like the best advice is to remember that it's gonna like, 
to make you a better version of yourself. Because, like, for me, working out allows me to push myself physically, emotionally, mentally, spiritually, and then that just in turn helps me, like, be a better, healthier, happier person. So it's like the days where I'm like, blood, like, oh, because I didn't work out today. You feel me? Should I go to my dream college or go in debt or go to a cheap college? Uh, you don't want to go to it. Oh, you, okay. Hmm. Here's my, hmm. I have a perspective. <laughs> I think dream colleges, like, oh, I have to go to Princeton. I think that's, like, kind of really stupid. Like, nobody cares. Like, in the way, okay, if you graduate from wherever, as long as you have a legit degree and you've gone into that experience and, like, soaked up all the knowledge, you're going to come out of it a professional. You're going to come out, out of it ready to party and ready to work in the industry. And that's what people who are hiring, or you'll maybe you'll end up working by yourself and, like, you know, creating your own company, who knows, whatever you end up doing, that comes from the passion you have for, for, for your career, for something, and it comes from, like, the skills you've learned. So it doesn't matter where you go, it matters what you do with where you go, you know what I'm saying? Um, and yeah, I think that, like, big schools, like Harvard or whatever, I don't know, just the ones that you see in the movies, <laughs> like, the ridiculous um, price it costs to go to those schools kind of just is like to me like a big sign saying this is all bullshit <laughs> like they just want your money you know honestly that's the tea and you're not going to be any better for going to those places like they want you to think you're just going to be better for being an awesome person and that doesn't it doesn't matter where you go for that <laughs> um anyways <laughs> um anyways <laughs> i almost dropped out of school last year but all my parents had to do was walk to me and they changed Talk to me, I changed my life. Yay! That's good. I feel you. I dropped out of my first college. Uh, <laughs> sorry, y'all. Don't don't use your teeth. Because you might end up almost choking on plastic like I did. Um, what was I saying? Oh, so yeah, my first college experience <laughs> was for nine months. It was a two-year program. And um, I had always studied in high school to go to university to, do, to get a degree because the two-year program only gets you a diploma well, not only that's good too um but i wanted a degree so i was like okay i'm gonna quit because this is not what i wanted also the program just wasn't what i wanted they were just only it said it was teaching you to like do everything in the, in the tv space um but it actually really only taught you to like be a news anchor or like a person in the news tv realm which i guess could bridge to other things but they also had really outdated equipment and like everything about it just bothered me also, some of the professors were so annoying, and, like, if you missed one class, they would, like, freak out, and I'm, I'm the kind of person who I learn better if I can do it my way, so that wasn't it for me, <laughs> but then I ended up taking a year off, uh, I did my own thing, then I met Seb, and then we ended up taking the same course together, because it was something I was already interested in, and Seb was, like, interested in it, and then I was like, well, this seems to be the right path. I don't know, that all kind of happened, like, looking back, it's like, wow, that's so cool how it all just, like, fit, like, so perfectly, and I, we didn't really have to, like, force it, it just happened, but just, like, the best, best thing ever. We didn't always have the same classes, like, most of the same classes, some electives I, we had were different, but, Ron! Oh my god, I missed you, how are you doing? Ron, 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 Ron. Run, run, ayo, what's good? Hey, thank you so much, y'all. It's the party, it's the run party, it's the party, it's the run party. Eh, 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 eh. <laughs> Love you so much. How have you been? Um, yeah, we had most of the same classes together. You've been doing good. I see much success. Ah! Yes, success to you too. We're thriving. We're happy. We're grateful. <laughs> uh, yeah, we would have a lot, a lot of classes together, and it was very fun because that way, like, if we disliked the teacher, we would, we'd be able to like. If we loved the teacher, we, if we had some tea, we could, no, <laughs> I'm kidding. We didn't, weren't really into the drama that much, but <laughs> we, it was nice to have like. I don't know. We're both pretty studious, so it was chill to have that experience. Also, if I miss a class, he could let me know. If he missed a class, I could let him know. Usually it was me missing the classes. <laughs> uh, not really, but sometimes. 
sometimes if I know like I'm gonna go to a class and absolutely nothing is gonna happen, I'm not gonna go. You know, you you know when you get that vibe with a teacher and you're like, they're not gonna teach me anything today. <laughs> and I, that bugged me. So maybe like going to certain schools is better for that reason because I feel like some of our classes we learned so much and then some of our classes it was like what is going on <laughs> we had this one teacher and literally all she did was read us through this one book um can't even remember what it was called right now it's like one of the classics like anyways but like every single class was just her reading through a long ass chapter of this this book I was like, I could have read this book by myself in a week or less, probably less. <laughs> so, so yeah, after a while we were just like, okay, well, she's the lady who dresses like a witch <laughs> and all she does is read us one book. So I'm just going to skip this class. <laughs> and we never got any assignments or tests. And I was like, what is going on? <sighs> Pride and Prejudice. Yes, I've talked about this before, haven't I? That was the book. <laughs> and let me tell you, she was passionate about it. Oh my god, I don't know what Green Bay Packer vibes is. Oh, that's the fourth team, right? I'm gonna assume. But look, is it, yeah, the colors are so cute. Like, you can't dislike this shirt. Oh, I don't really like the Playboy moment, but besides that. <laughs> I'm like, ooh, I saw it in the store and I wanted it, but then I was like, Playboy, not gonna get it. And then Steph got it, and I was like, now I'm gonna have to wear it. <laughs> when will you see Georgia now that you're fully vaccinated? Um, Well... We're legally stuck in quarantine for two weeks, so after we get permission by the government to leave our house, we will go and see her, hopefully. Um, yeah, she can't, she hasn't got her vaccine yet, because Canada's a little bit interesting <laughs> right now, so hopefully she'll get her soon. Although, okay, so in America, it was great that being stuck went there, because you get your vaccine, and then as you're supposed to, you get the second dose 21 days later. In Canada, because... They, I don't even know what they're doing. <laughs> they're just like tripping and they don't have enough vaccines. So what Canada is doing is giving you one dose and then another dose four months later. So essentially you have four months of being like 30% safe because the first vaccine does not do much to protect you. And then you get the second dose four months later. So that's four more months really where you have to be, be just as careful as you've been being for this whole pandemic, which is defeat the purpose of getting the vaccine. Woo! There's my rant. Let's go back to being happy. <laughs> uh, Ron, he's coming to Minneapolis at the end of the month to visit Stinky. Hi, Stinky. What? Mr. Stinky. Dan is doing business. Am I Stinky? You're Stinky? We all Stinky. <laughs> um, anyways, Ron, that sounds like a lovely time, so have the best time. I'll come on over, too. Have a kiki. Kiki. <laughs> I'm gonna be right back. Keep up your life lessons for now, Dion. Oh, you know, me just spewing a bunch of shit. <laughs> hey, Kenzie, what's good? Everyone, send um, this to your fans. Like up. Let's keep on going. If we get to 25,000 likes, I'll make out with Steph. If we get to 50,000 likes, I'll make a song on camera. If we get to 75,000 likes, I'll make out with Steph while doing a dance. <laughs> oh, it's sign Ron. We love a publicly private combo. Spill the tea, sis. <laughs> uh, you and Steph are the cutest. Aww, I mean... No, okay, thank you. <laughs> ah, I'm, I'm sad because I took a nap today. I was feeling mixed, so I took a nap. And I didn't go live on Twitch with Steph today. And I wish I did because, you know, I honestly just missed that. Should I start talking in my British accent? Because it's a little rusty. <laughs> Oh, uh, okay. I'll start talking in a British accent because this is my real voice. If you've seen my latest YouTube video, you know. <laughs> Bye. Bye. And then what day is it today? Thursday. So I'll probably post a video on Saturday. Saturday. I think. That's when we'll do it. Okay. Steph, do be a loser though. Yeah, no, it's just a bit of a loser, mate. And it's all good because he thinks he's cool. I'm not about it. I'm not about it. Do you guys miss seeing Nick and I? Yes, I miss my besties. I miss Nick and uh, and Mel and Nikki and Georgia and my family and everyone else. <laughs> but I mean, the sun went away, so now I'm not glowing. 
No, um, I missed them all, and I just can't wait for Ron to. Oh my God, young Steph, believing, hold on to that feeling, street like people. Woo, woo, woo! Ron is in the house. Hey, Ron, we love you. <laughs> Thank you. Oh my God, Ron, we have the fifty-five k. I told y'all if we got here, I'd be making out with Seb, and I'd make a song live. I guess we're doing both. Oh, learned this move. <laughs> uh, that's one of my favorite dance moves. No, I was trying to like, learn some um, K-pop dance moves because we love a little K-pop. And it was going pretty well. I only did seven minutes of the tutorial, so I'll get back to it. <laughs> 55k just like that. Ooh. Seth has very loud headphones on. Seth, can you hear me? You can't hear me. God dang it. Here, I'll throw something at him. A little ribbon. That went about five inches up. Can you hear me? Can you come here? Okay, we got a detector. Everything. Oh my god, I'm gonna blindfold him with this little ribbon. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I wish I had a boyfriend like you, do. I know, it's really nice to have a boyfriend. <laughs> um, hi. Sit down for me. Hi. Welcome to the podcast. Hi. How you doing? Good, and you? Good, so dry. Why? Oh my god, if you guys haven't watched, it's completely unrelated. If you guys haven't watched Mulan, check it out. The live action one made me cry. And it was beautiful. Uh, I'll probably rewatch it. I know, it's so cute. I don't know. It was, but then I was living. Okay, how's that? Cozy? Yeah. What are you going to do? Uh, uh, don't don't break the chairs. Yeah, these chairs are pretty good. Okay, nope. Okay. Oh, there you go. What are you doing? Kissing me? Theo, what are you gonna do? Nothing. Don't break me. I'm not. Is it warm? I'm just kissing Dion, you. Dion, if you put something on me, I'm gonna be really mad. Dion. What? Go ahead and kiss me. <laughs> what are you doing? Three. No, 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 no. Dion, no, Dion, no. Oh! Thank you. <laughs> what did you do? Nothing. <laughs> Are you sure? I yeah. think you did something. I psychologically did something. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> I was literally just kissing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I love you. What did you do? <laughs> I can't explain it because that's all there is to it. 
But anyways, we were at a restaurant, um, like an outdoor, basically like in Florida, like COVID's still a thing, right? Um, but when we got our second best thing, we're like, oh, now we can like go to outdoor patio. You know, like it's outdoor. So yeah, like um, I would go to like a restaurant, but it would be outside and like social distance tables. So we're good to go. And anyway, so we're at this restaurant and then um, they bring out flan. Is that what it's called? You guys know what I'm talking about? It's like a dessert thing. And I remember around Christmas time, I'd never heard of this thing. And Seb and Mel were like, oh, we're going to get a little box of flan and make flan. And I'm like, what? Flan. The word itself sounds like flubber. I don't like it. <laughs> so I'm like, <laughs> um, don't worry, Ron. Ron will get to making flan. Let me just finish the story. Um, yeah, flan. So for a day or two, I was like, that, I can't touch it. They were eating, and I was like, I don't know what that is. I can't do it. And then fast forward to an hour in Florida, a month later, and I was like, oh my god, flan's on the table. What am I supposed to do? I'm freaking out. <laughs> and then um, it was Josh, so like uh, Danny, Seb's brother's husband. Um, Josh was like, do you want a piece? Because <laughs> I guess I was staring at it or something. No, I think I made a comment. Like, I, I just can't with the way it looks. And then um, I was like, Oh no, but if people ask me like do I want to bite or something, I like feel guilty saying no. <laughs> so I was like, Yeah, I'll try it. <laughs> and then I'm like and I was expecting to hate it. And then Ron, you're accurate. It's like custard and I love custard. Um custard is like a very British thing and um I love custard on like apple pie. Oh my god. My mom makes the best custard on apple pie. Ah so I was like, Ooh, ooh, ooh wait a minute. Flan's a bop. Flan is a bop. Uh, and from that day forth, I have been a flan stand. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. <sighs> Your boyfriend cheated on you recently, so you've been really down. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear it. If you want to share more about that story, that's a good little... We can vent it out together. I'll, I'll write a song about it. We could sing it and jam to it right now. If that would help you... I could do it. I'll probably cry because I, I like to ta I tap into other people's emotions. I'm an empath like that. <laughs> I'm an empath. <laughs> so um, I was just like about to write a song. So we make it about someone cheating. Is that therapeutic for you? I can stop if it's triggering. <laughs> Anyways, moving on in case that's too harsh, too too intense for you. Because I feel that. Like a lot of people I know right now are going through breakups. And it's hard. It really affects you. And for me... When I think back to like really bad breakups I had, I think you just have to tell yourself you're a boss ass bitch and keep on going. Like that's the only way to get through it is to be like, hmm, I deserve better. Moving on, and then like when the pain comes, when the heartbreak happens, just if you need to cry, cry. I'm a crier, <laughs> and then move on. You know, make yourself move on, even when you don't want to. Just be like. And the best way to move on is to focus on yourself. Like, that's always what I always say. Figure out a new a new passion you want to explore, something you love, a goal you have, and, like, do it. You're not going to want to. You're going to feel like crap. But just do it because through doing it, you start to feel better. And it, like, just gives you this rush. And you're like, yeah, I'm owning this life thing. Aruna, I love you so much. How you doing? The only thing that helps me is watching your content. Oh, I love you so much. There's a lot, 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 lots more coming to make you smile. So I hope you cheer up. <laughs> and maybe we can make a little song to help you cheer up. Let me get my <laughs> lyric book out. Which one should I use? Y'all vote below. Should we use... Mm -hmm. Should we use... But you're my baby. You're my baby. You're my baby. I'm getting better at the more accent. I'm really bad at it. <sighs> David! No, that's not it. <laughs> I'm so bad, but at least it's not sounding just like a generic, generic like old lady. It's getting better. <laughs> um, I nope, that's not it. I I was a no. I need to get into the character. What's something she would say? Uh, um, but I can't have two glasses. Of no, <laughs> I always go British with it too. You know what? I need some uh, acting training. I'm a rusty. <laughs> Um, Ron, I love you. I can do that. Uh, I can do Alexis. David! Oh my god! David is so bad! No, that's not it. Ron! Yes! We're in the desert! Woohoo! Ron, I love Camel! Camel with a hump. Mm. <laughs> Thanks, Ron. Love you so much. 
Tower 72, that's lying. So I'm going to have to make out a set while dancing. And we got the 75 bells. I was like, did anybody vote? <laughs> I don't know. We'll just use this book. I think nobody cares about book I read right now, right? Um, I like to freestyle. So we could do that. But we could also write it. Because I'm a writer. <laughs> um, okay, so we're going to write a song. Um, Oh, or I could just sing this one that I already have. Um, no, not that one. That was top secret. That is a top secret moment. But I wrote one called High School that might be relatable. <laughs> if I could find it. Um, It's not really a breakup song, so maybe we'll have to write one. Hold up. Hold up here. We're getting some. I promise. Uh, what they were saying. Oh my god! There you go, Ron. Put it on like this. And I throw. Put it on me. This is how it would be when I, if I wanted to like, drag race or something. Crown it. You know you want to. Uh, I cannot comment on that. <laughs> Bad idea. Are we here? Are we there? Are we queer? Yes, we're there. Oh my god, okay. I'll bring back Seb, but we're still on the 50,000 goal. So let's make it 100,000 goal. We're going to make a little song right now, and then we're going to... I think we're just going to rip it. I'm not... Like, I have to focus to write lyrics, and I can't focus with children. Maybe I'll, so we're just going to get the guitar, and we're going to rip it. Okay? And then, uh... Yeah, so 75,000 likes, which is now. Uh, I'm going to dance. I'll do my little K-pop dance for y'all, if I can remember it. And then I'll kiss that. <laughs> Make up with that while doing the K-pop dance. <laughs> and then, yeah, we got to 100,000 likes. I'll be like, yeah, the other, but, um, they're actually my headphones. But anyways, he has these headphones on, and they're like super noise canceling. So we can't hear us right now. But I can't hear myself I don't know what I'm saying But I'm about to write a song And it goes, it goes like this When the night goes down It goes like this when the sun goes down Ooh, I like that line, let's try it Oh, uh, I'm rusty, y'all, I don't remember chords Guitar, y'all. I love you more, you know. You don't have to. 
not miss them anymore, okay? Cause I climb the highest mountain and I saw the brightest sea and I don't know where I'm going and I just know how to breathe. What is happening in the chat? <laughs> Did I miss them? Um, I love you all. I'm just reading the comments. But y'all are being sweet. What's going on? Am I missing something? Um, yes, bro. I was thinking I should do like a little concert soon, you know? A little, little lockdown concert. Because I still... I, know, I love you, Sylvie. Because um, I still haven't been able to perform my songs on stage. So I'm gonna like remind myself how to play the on guitar, and then we can do a cover. So it's that damn okay chat manager. You can manage the chat. Let's do it. <laughs> no, everyone, this is a place of love and light. Please be kind to one another. That's the key. For my birthday, I'm going to drive and drag, so I can't wait for it. Back in that is Oh my god, have they told you any of the queens that are gonna be there? I'm very excited for you.
out a B minor. Ah, how do I do this? I'll just go. Do, do, do. That doesn't sound very good. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm not going to be able to learn this right now, y'all. It's an A chord. So let me see if there's another one with like less chords. I just want to play this song because I love it. Ew, uh, why does Harry Styles make his song so hard to learn? Okay, we'll have to get back to that one. <laughs> I will practice that one for y'all, but not right now. Woke up alone in this hotel room. Labor. That lyric was good. Where were you? <laughs> Fell back asleep, I got drunk by noon. I never felt less cool. And we haven't spoke since you went away. Comfortable silence is so overrated. Why won't you ever say what you want to say? Oh, that's what I Why won't you ever be the first one to pray? Even my call, and this is your call. By the way, I love the bridge, it's so good. May, <clears throat> maybe one day you'll call me and tell me that you're sorry too. Oh, I wish I knew how to play on guitar. Maybe one day you'll call me and tell me that you're sorry too. Ba -da -da. And maybe one day you'll call me and tell me that you're sorry too. But you, you never do. Jane, what you saying? I'm locked down. Okay, real quick, for anyone who wants to get annoyed, both Beyonce and Trust Me with Magic Chat, so don't say anything about it. I mean, I'm here for good vibes. Jane always brings good vibes, so y'all just bring good vibes. Love you, Becca. I saw that through your voice is an older one, but a good one. Mr. Dyingly Sad by the Critters. I'm going to have to put that on my likes playlist, and if I like it, I'll put it on one of my actual Spotify playlists, so you'll, you'll see that later today. <laughs> Um, I'm pretty honest, you know, my taste in music is different than a lot of people, so. Everyone's taste in music is different. This one sounds like a bop, though. Oh, I love this vibe. It's very, oh, like I just want to be sitting by the pool, you know? I don't know the words, Mr. Dying Sad. <laughs> Okay, we'll get back to that one. I found that you can have your Spotify plays. It's called As I Am by Justin Bieber. Ooh, uh, interesting. Thank you for the suggestion. Let me check it out. <laughs> As for a not in crying love, can you add Be Alright by Dean Lewis? Oh my god. Okay. So, the playlist, Not in Crying Love, go follow it on my Spotify playlist. Uh, play page, uh, what's it called? Be Alright. Oh, I think I like this song. I think I've heard it. It's cute. Yes. It's added to the Not in Cry playlist. Just added it. Uh, um, okay, let's go to. That's cleaning, y'all. Great. You never clean. <laughs> no, I just like better cleaning. But that's doing a great job in the kitchen so looking amazing. So, claps all around. <gasps> Oh my god, y'all, I have to go soon because the Big Brother finale is on in half an hour. <laughs> but let's, uh, Shawn Mendes. Yes, I actually can do a Shawn Mendes song. I was practicing one before I left. Let's see if I can remember it. This one. Y'all know it. I forget the melody, so let me play it real quick. 
other people. Since we can't see you, uh oh. How do I take this? Okay, I'm Better? <laughs> I mean, I tried reconnecting, so can y'all see me? Okay. 
Daniel Kerber. Can I see <laughs> you? Are. Okay, are we good? What were you saying, Debbie? What were you saying? Should I tell him we have to lie? Okay, I'm coming to react live. Okay, y'all. So I'm gonna put my guitar away because Seb finished cooking. JK, he, he finished cleaning the kitchen. And he wants me to go look, and I'm very excited to see what he did because our kitchen needed a little love. We're gonna renovate it soon. Um, but personally, I think that's just not the tea right now. Like, me and Seb just really wanna focus on us and like making content for y'all and music and who knows, right? So. We're finally at a good place <laughs> after this awful lockdown. Um, so yeah, we're like definitely gonna take a break from the renovations and then I think I'll bring it back in like June. Just take this month off and then in June I'll probably start focusing on how we can renovate the bathrooms and the kitchen. Oh, but for now, let's just roll off them. Wow. <laughs> oh my god, cousin up. Oh, who is she? She's so cute. <laughs> Get a bag. Yeah, because it was getting a little clunky over here. <laughs> but now it's cute. What are you doing now? What are you doing, cheeky boy? What are you doing? I don't know what you're saying. What do you mean? I said something. What do you said? I'm looking for food. I'm hungry. Oh, we still have the leftovers. Look at our pantry. We have the leftovers. From <laughs> what? Leftovers? What leftovers? From what we ate yesterday. Earlier. Okay. We can eat that much as we want. Okay. What? You're being weird. Uh -huh. Okay. That was a nice kitchen, does it? Why does this keep happening? Mocha dropper. Over there. I love this spot. Yoga, I see something. <laughs> Why is this not working? Uh... <laughs> hey. Can you see me? <laughs> um. <laughs> Ron, oh my god. Is it still uh, painting or? <laughs> yes, I can. Okay, so some people can see me. Back, back, back. <laughs> uh, you're kind of better. Okay. Why is the Wi Fi so bad right now? Ugh, hate that. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I'm just gonna take a break. Sad. <laughs> uh, I want to 